Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome back to Farming Sim 2013 on the old Brook map. Um, it's getting late now, and we were still harvesting, weren't we? Come on, was there? There we go. There we go. Uh, so he's 27% gone. Go. We'll send him on his way with the hired helper. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna finish that tonight. Uh, okay, where's? Ah, oh, yes, I was doing the bailing, wasn't I? Beautiful sunset. Beautiful. Okay. B. Oh, and I love this game because it's got automatic cruise control. I can just hit 2 and take my finger off the, the, the button. Because, yeah, I've been playing a lot of... Um, been playing a bit of uh, Professional Farmer from UIG, the new one. Um, video seems to be going... Well received. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's quite good. Come on. There we go. Um, and I'm really enjoying it actually. It's um, it's a bit similar to the, how this one came. When this one first came out, we didn't have all the uh, all the mods and we didn't have all the additional equipment and that kind of thing. So equipment-wise, yeah, professional farmer is a little bit down at the moment. But um, the good thing about it is that UIG and the developers Playware are constantly checking the forums, they're constantly um, looking for ways to improve and already they, um, yeah, within one day they, they put out a hot fix and this wasn't really for anything major, it was just for what things, you know, annoyances that people were having. So there was um, things like um, the map screen, putting M, the M key now opens and closes it as a toggle which is much better. Uh, and other little things which I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, they've worked hard and uh, they're continually working, working over the weekend as well. And I was not paying attention whatsoever, even though that annoying beat was so loud in my ear, I can barely hear myself. Go! Don't click the combine. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's 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 looking good from a from a base model. Really pleased. Um, fundamentally, it's a very good game, and just need to add more content and more um, you know, tools and stuff to play with, and that is going to be a cracking little game, I am sure of it. Um, before this, I have also tried to record some Agricultural Simulator 2013. Um, I said I tried. It, as you can imagine, it, by that statement, it hasn't gone very well. Um, I can get about seven to eight minutes footage before the, the game crashes, so I'm wondering whether or not I should just put that one to bed for now, because UIG have said they are looking to get a small development team to try and add a little bit more support for that game, i.e. just trying to make get it into a position where it's playable. I don't think we'll ever have, um, it'll, it won't be supported like a new title. like. Professional farmer, because that's where all their currently that's where all their um, focus and effort is being spent is on the on the new game, and you can completely understand that. That's their that's going to be their next revenue income. But they are looking to get some development back onto the old agricultural sim 2013. And if they do that, then at least if they can make it stable, we can um, hopefully get going again because it's just ah oh, it's just so unstable at the moment um i if i you know i seem to pass the new year i get past the new year uh, into january 2014 sorry about driving on the crops um and it just becomes really unstable so i'm not sure why oh, rubbish come on cut come on there we go uh so i don't know whether or not to abandon the current game and then um, start a new game on the uh, the beta version that's currently on Steam which has a number of fixes to it um, or just to give up on it because we've got farming and agricultural suit uh, and professional farmer going hmm I don't know I don't know how's that combine looking he's almost empty let's just um, to stay with him until we fill up or till the end and then we'll take this trailer back looks like we might be pulling an all-nighter what's the weather looking like for tomorrow um, oh a bit a bit grey 
but nothing too bad. No rain, so that's good. Well, we no rain forecast. Yeah, so what are your thoughts on Agricultural Simulator? Give up, go on a new game on the, um, the Steam Beta, and hopefully that will remain a little bit. Are you going to wait there for me to go? Wait there, Mr. Combine. Excellent. Yeah, um. Because I don't think we can do much with it at the moment, unfortunately. Which is a real shame, because I'm really loving the, the US West map. I think that's one of the better ones, actually. I loved. Um. Tuscany. But I must admit, I've had a look at the Alpine map, and I've had a look at the US East map, and I don't really like them. They just don't have the character that the other two have. Um, so, yes, your opinions and views on that one, please. Give up. Start a new game. Um, start a new game on the beta with the latest update, or wait with the current game until a fix is in place. Hopefully UIG will come through and, as they've said, put a bit of backward support on that game. Now, whether or not the saved games would still be compatible is a, is a, you know, your guess is as good as mine on that one. So, um, yeah, it's, it's your call really. I don't mind. I really enjoy that game actually. Of the three farming sims, Oddly enough, I, I can't really explain it. That is my favourite. It, yeah, it's it's probably the worst game of the lot, but I really enjoy it. I don't know why. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, and we can go from there. Um, oh, okay, we got a strip here. I'm making a right balls up of this, aren't I? Yes, you are, they say. All the voices, which I can't hear. So I was watching the combine and making sure it was going <laughs> to unload, and I forgot to watch what I was doing. Always keep your concentration on what you're doing, yes. Let other people worry about everything else. Wow, so this is going to take us the best part of three or four episodes to get this blooming field harvested, isn't it? It's a lot longer than I was expecting, to be honest. Now, I have had um, calls to get some modded tractors and get some modded tractors, so yes, I might well do that. I've got the Fords, which I definitely want to get the Fords. Um, the Fords have got, I'm going to get the Ford front loader. Because, well, a, a that's quite cheap anyway, and, and b uh, it's I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's just use that so I can have a bit of cheating so I can see where I'm going. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, and I have downloaded a mod. Thank you. Obviously, everyone. I've got a load of suggestions. So check out. FS UK for the mods and stuff for this game I have done um, thank you and yes I've got an automatic round bale picker upper machine mod uh, actually did I install it I can't remember if I installed it um, oh let's go by mods 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 oh my god where's baling stuff have I missed it? Bailing technology, here we go. There we go, we got a uh, auto stacker, round bale auto... Oh, I didn't realise it was going to be 94 grand. Good God. Oh, I suppose, no, that, I suppose that's good. That's good, it's realistic price, I guess. Just a lot of bloody money. Wow. Uh. Clunk as you turn the lights on. A bit of a 
stutter as well, which is a bit weird for a game that really doesn't match your game settings out at all. Three, two, one, stop! Yeah, quite a lot of straw off this. Um, yeah. That's not ideally parked. This, this is this is pro reversing skills. Oh yes, oh yes. It's all my days on it. Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's got me uh, my my trailer reversing skills up to pro level. Oh yeah. I'll switch that bailer on every bloody time. Can we get around that corner? Oh, my lights are off. Now, I can't see the combine. Has he stopped on the far side? No, here he comes. So how much... I wonder, is a, what's that? Oh, okay, it was a six. I wonder what that little green thing was. It wasn't paying too much attention to it. So barley prices... Okay, the prices are quite low. Um, what I want to look at is my statistics. So... Well, we've got 60,000 litres of barley so far, that's obviously had a little bit to start with anyway, but that's brilliant. Oh yeah, look, you can twist your head around 360 degrees, that's a bit weird. Uh, sugar wheat, potato, corn, silage, grand. Okay, we're going to, yeah. We definitely need a barley sale after this. Shall I go around? Yeah, let's go around. Oh, we've only done, we've done like what? Half the field? Good God, man. We're going to be here a long old time. But it's all good. And what was the prices? I didn't, I uh, missed it. Price, uh, missed it again. Prices. Uh, so barley is currently 222 at the freight yard. Okay, that's the best that is. Okay, 222. Is that? What's going on? What's going on? You okay to go? You good to go? You good to go? Yeah, you good to go. Let's get that stupid PDA out of the way. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Just to give me no indication that it closed. Well, like a clunk click. Let's go around here. What's that combine doing? He's still going. That's grand. Grandioso. Right, let's spin around here. So, it's um, Sunday morning here. It's the 1st of December. Oh, only 24 days to Christmas. Yippee. Yay. Uh, no, I haven't done any... Well, I've done a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, mostly online, because I'm getting lazy. And, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't, just don't fancy the trawling around the shops in the cold. Cold weather, and then as soon as you go in the shop, as soon as you walk through the door, they blast you with hot air. Just make you feel nauseous. Uh, and then just fighting your way to... Oh, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Pumping all those Christmas tunes out into the store in mid-November. It's like, uh, I know it's December, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. They start very early. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh uh, no, can't be doing with that. Fortunately, I've got some of the presents done. Parents done. Sister and fiance done. Um, that's not my. I know I I live in East Anglia, but that's not my sister. Is my fiance? No, my sister presents are done and her fiancés are done. Okay, let's just clear that out. There's some, um, there's already some stereotypes about um, people living in East Anglia, but I won't have it. I'm not from here, but I won't have it. That's not what I meant. Uh, I don't know. I uh, just got my, the rest of the family. <laughs> just my rest of the family, yeah. So, oh, it's, 
it gets harder and harder each year to choose Christmas presents. And it's kind of that, well, what would you like? Well, I wouldn't mind something like this. Do you think, alright, brilliant. What what style? Or, you know, colour or something like that. Oh, I don't know, you choose. Well, yeah, you know, don't be disappointed if you don't like it then. I'm half tempted just to find the, the tackiest, most grotesque um, item possible and just give it to them if they're not going to say, oh, anything, give me anything, fine. I don't know. But I digress. Back to farming, yes. Well, there's not much to say about farming. We're doing okay. Um, as I've already said, the professional farmer, that, the videos have been going okay. It's a good little game. People seem to be enjoying them, so they're coming out. I'm, I'm going to try and do them every couple of one every couple of days for that, for, for the foreseeable short period of time. Just because obviously the interest, it's a new game, people are still checking it out whether or not they want to make the purchase, so I'll get quite a few videos out on that. Obviously Farming Sim, it's been around, been around a year now, isn't it? I can't remember. Best part of a year anyway. Um, so, you know, you all know that this is a, a polished up, solid game. So I'll continue th these videos once a week. And this morning, I have been playing with B17, oh yes, I've been um, having a look at the mods. Now I'm struggling to get hold of the Olive Drab skin mod uh, which was released. Now I've got a couple of weathering mods, for, yeah, skins for the, the plane and I've got a couple of um, other mods to stick on there and I've got the OMF mod installer, I think it's called OMF. Uh, so that's looking all good, and I'm looking to start the B17 Series 2, or Season 2, um, week commencing the 9th of December, so sometime that week, I haven't, I haven't picked a day yet, um, I'm just still playing around with the mods, if I'm honest, but yes, we'll get that one back up and running, should be good, do enjoy that, beep beep beep, let's go back. Let's just unload that bale and let's go and check on the combine. 83, let's just unload her. We've left her on her own for a wee bit, haven't we? And um, got our rear lights on so we can see what he's aiming for. Driving on the crops again, sorry. Uh, I, I know there hasn't been much War Thunder videos up recently. Um, I've been on the last couple of nights just for a short period of time actually and um, unfortunately none of my squad were online so um, I didn't really have the inclination to stay on there. I did a couple of matches. Um, nothing worthy to um, video to be honest. It was just... I'm just grinding now if I'm honest to get to uh, a level where I can get some more aircraft and show them to you. So. Yeah, um, I did. I did play a bit of the um, the Luftwaffe last night, and um, I have now earned. I've gone up to level five or six. I can't remember which, and I've got my first 109. So my first Messerschmitt 109. It's obviously, yeah, it's not the best in the world. And I haven't flown it yet, actually, to be honest. But um, yeah, I want to increase that skill tree, grind down there, and get the the 109s because I do like do like the 109s. Um, so yeah, uh, if anything interesting happens, then I will um, stick a video up on that. But as I said, you, uh, you know, battle after battle after battle with no real progression or no real um, instruction on, you know, on different aircraft. Then there's there's no point really, and I haven't got anything interesting to really show you on that one. I still enjoy playing it. It's just. Not, not nothing interesting enough to uh, create a video on. So um, yeah, if anything does happen, I'll crash into a hedge. No, I'll be sure to um, record it. And uh, oh, what am I doing? Just tidy this up. Level two. Sorry, upset the speed. The speed gods of bailing must not go past level two. Right, 
We'll get this straw done. We'll also need to get get that hay because we cut we cut the grass, didn't we, in the first episode? We'll get some equipment for that. Uh, we'll get the hay done as well because I want to get I want to get some cows. I want to get some sheep as well. I know they're pretty much redundant-ish at, at the moment. They don't really do much, but um, well, sheep that is. Obviously, all we do is uh, get wool from them. But you know, it's it's another. It's another source of income, and I want to get that done. I want to get the cows going, especially. We've got the pigs as well, haven't we? So we need to get some straw over to the pigs. Come on, tick over. There we go. Yeah, so that's... that's. I may hold off um, buying a new tractor. Actually, we could sell some tractors, because we don't need all these tractors. I might sell the Hurleyman and, and the Sluter. We don't need them all. Now we're going to keep the um, the front loader at the pig farm because that's useful, and I might get another front loader for the cows. And oh, I need one for the sheep as well, won't I? Um, now let's have a look at the map. Where was how big was? So the sheep and the cows are relatively close together, so we could probably get away to begin with with just the one, and we'll use it for both sites. And we'll get a Ford because I love the Ford. Um, what do we need? So we need to, we need to get grass. So we'll probably get. We've got the grass cutters. We just need to get like a forage wagon as well. Oh, just we got so much to get. Well, we can always always get a loan out, which will probably be the way forward. We'll sell some tractors and then we'll get a loan out and see where we are. Um, should have made a mo mental list. So we need a front loader. What else did I say? We need a forage wagon, definitely. The automatic bale picker upper, definitely. Um, I think that is, that's probably what we need, absolutely need. And then we'll have a look at what other little things we can we can play with. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, because look at all these ba um, straw bales. I would hate to think I'd have to stick them all on a front loader and all onto a bale trailer, then transport them back. Oh my god, I hate the front loaders. I am not the best at them, and uh, yeah, that would probably do me in. Right, we can probably switch you off because there's not much. Oh, combine wants to get um, unloaded. Sprint over to our tra tractor. Come on, 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 come on. Before the, the combine stops, he's still going. He's still going. Oh, he stops. God damn it. Oh, we're almost to the end. We're almost to the end. Yes, we're filling up. Excellent! It's a cracking combine. Is that? Hang on, which one have we got? We've got the 7545. Is that like? I don't know my combines very well. Um, so let's just have a look. Where is that in the combine tree? There you go. The 70, 7545. That's the best one. See, you should never start with the best combine. I thought it was a good one. I know you can get the mods for the. Uh... Oh, what is it? It's not the Dominator. It's the, it's the big one with the, the tracks on the front. Um, yeah, absolute beast of a combine. Uh, go for the gap. Whee! Get our remote for the gate. Did it? Fantastic. We're through. How are we doing? Fuel. We're fine on fuel. Where am I going? I need to unload this. Another twenty odd thousand litres of barley. Wow. Wow. Oh we, what we really need actually is a is that still up? Yeah, wait for it to come down. 
We need a sale for barley, don't we? Not a sale, we need a high demand for barley. We'll, we'll flog all that and then we probably won't need to get a loan. Oh, it's a bit, a bit manic in the, in, the, in the cockpit, isn't it? Whoa! Did we catch some air there? Because <laughs> the revs made it sound like we hit some air, which is pretty cool. We're munching through this field, but um, not very... Good God, the lighthouse is going, look. A nice turn of speed, this tractor, isn't it? Right, so we've repositioned. I think we're probably getting a bit too close there, are we? We might be okay. Alright, let's put that there. Now, let's. So we've got. Where's this? This is the pigs, is it? Yes, yeah, so we've got that Hurleyman. We've got that Hurleyman. So we could probably sell this Hurleyman. Um, let's just have a look at the map. And figure out where the heck we sell. Uh, so that's all that going on there. That's the pig farm. That's the the sheep farm. Okay. So where is the petrol station, mill, freight yard, paddock, biogas plant, allotment, wool sale in dealership there. Uh, okay. So we go down the lane. Right. Okay. Brilliant. So let's go and sell this. That'll give the guys on the uh, combine to enough time to keep going, and then we can unload again. So I think, yeah, starting equipment is a little bit too generous, I think. Three Hurleyman, two... Um, dudes and a, um, a sluter and the best combine there is ah, it's a little bit too generous isn't it you know you want to start off with the crap stuff I know it takes an age with that little red combine to actually do anything but that's the sense of achievement when you actually upgrade you know it gives you that driving urge to keep going and to keep improving and, and that's that's why I never understand why people do like money cheats to get you know a couple of million pounds so they can buy all the equipment. Well, apart from you know obviously doing the farming, where's where's your progression there? It's, it kind of kills the uh, the challenge. Well, this is nice. Look, this little proper little country lane, isn't it? I love that. Um, I'm guessing they drive on the the wrong side of the road, so I'll, I'll stay over this side of the uh, of the lane. Oh, it's a beautiful map, beautiful map. Well done, boys, whoever created this. Um, ah, so that's... There's the dealership over here. So that's what, is that the greenhouse? We can sell eggs there. Brilliant. Right, ah, here we go, here we go. Uh, and then we press... Not E, no. So it R? No, how do we sell? I can't remember. Is that not properly in? Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, do we want the front weight? Let's just have a quick look at the other tractors. That hasn't got a front weight. That has. That doesn't need one. That has. Right, let's just dis disconnect the front weight. We, you know, we'll, when we get a trailer, we'll just get the, uh, the, the tractor to pull it, and um, we'll stick the front weight on that. Okay. Now, ah, do you want to sell that for seventy-eight thousand? Yes. Oh hell, yes. So um, we could buy another tractor. What tractors have we got? Whoops. All the old ones. Do the mod ones come through here? No, they don't. Oh, look at those beasts. One day, one day we'll be able to afford them then. Um, mods by tractors. Here we go. Um, so I want to get the Fords. I want to get that one, but I don't know if that front loader 
can actually they're a bit cheap aren't they <laughs> they're a little bit cheap um, yes uh, no okay so we won't buy it just yet I'll we'll probably look to sell something else but yeah you go that's 78 grand so we've got 100 grand in the bank we can probably oh it didn't go well how's the combine getting on 50% right excellent let's um back this up Right, park that there. Oh. Um, no. Where's where are you? You are you're at the piggery, aren't you? You're there. Uh, so quite a drive. So what's that one? That's the dudes. And that's that one, and that's that one, and that's that one. Okay, so that one's got a weight. That one's got a weight. Right, let's just F there, drop that trailer there for now. I'll go and drop this um the weight back at the um back at base and then I'm gonna go and buy the automatic baler picker upper thing and the, the weight will just drop down there so Oh, can we go in there? Oh, yes, we can. What's in here? Uh, oh, this is where the potatoes and stuff go. But we can. We'll drop that in there. Uh, no doubt I'll forget I'll put it in there and I'll never be able to see it ever again. We will probably, from this day on, forget that exists. But it's okay. Oh, we're pulling an all-nighter. Um, oh, does the shop close on this one? I can't remember. Obviously, uh, I think I'm getting it confused with Euro Truck because the. Um, oh, we could get a loading wagon. Oh, ho ho ho! So what's that? That's um, what's the capacity? Is that is that what it, it can hold? Ten thousand kilograms? Yes, that is the capacity. Okay, oh, I think we might get. Uh, if we get a a, a, a a forage wagon, then we can get the cows, can't we? Uh, or we could get the baler picker upper. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Do you know what? We're coming up to the end of the episode, so what I'll probably do, I'll leave that up to you guys. Leave a comment. I'm not sure what to do. <clears throat> Should we get the forage wagon so we can collect the the grass, uh, so we can have animals, or should we get the baler picker upper, Majing? We we can also get a Lono. So we'll probably get a loan out as well. Um, I was hoping not to get too much of a loan out, to be honest with you, but I guess we can probably go for both. I pretty much guess there's no traffic on these roads. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just drive down to the, the equipment store now, and yes, let me know your feedback so I know what to do. Um, I'm thinking forage wagon is the priority, rather than the automatic bale picker upper. But let me know your thoughts, and the whichever view is shared by the majority will rule. So let me know what your thoughts are, and we'll go with that. Oops, I missed it. Back, 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 back. Boom. Okay. 
just one final check on everything. The failure's okay. He's doing grand. Oh, we'll eventually get this finished. I'm just going to finish this field offline. No, I won't. I won't. I'll let you watch it all. God damn it. If I'm going to put the work in, you, you're bloody well going to watch it. <laughs> no, or something like that, anyway. So, um, so yeah, I'm at the store. Let me know what I should buy. Is there a bank terminal here? What is banked? Is it... Um, oh, and somebody remind me what the heck um, it is to get... Oh, God. Good Lord. To the bank. What's the bank? There's a key, isn't there? There's a key. I can't remember for the life of me what it is. I could look it up, but um, no, it's not that one. It's not that one. So, oh no, it's not that one either. Um, yes, <laughs> a rather shambolic and um, confusing end to the episode, but yes. What we do know is that I need your your suggestions. That's a weird sound in my headset. Then I didn't know what that was. Yes, I need your suggestions about what we're going to do. Forage wagon, automatic round baler picker upper. M M Bob thing or uh, another another any suggestions please put it down and the the most popular um, suggestion will win and we'll go with that and we'll, I bet everyone's going to say get a loan out and get the biggest baddest thing in the world and we'll go with that okay fine if that's what the majority rules then that's what the majority rules so let me know your, th your feelings and your thoughts and uh, we'll go from there so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.